Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Disney Sorcerer's Arena video. And in this video, we are going to go ahead and unlock Genie. We're going to complete the current event. We've got less than a day left in it, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the game, do that, and take a look at the Genie himself and the team that you get in this event as well, if you're dedicated enough to go ahead and get it. But first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Let's go ahead and pop into the game. Now, I did do a video on the first two acts, the first two battles of this event. If you want to see that, if you haven't yet, go ahead and click up right here and uh, you can go ahead and take a look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the game here, do a quick overview, and then jump into the last two battles here, which is the Guardian Layer and the Lamp Chamber. So one thing that I mentioned before, what I really like is I like how this event builds on itself. You need previous characters and previous parts of this event in order to proceed to the next event. So, and as you can see, the dates available, they overlap. They all go to the 31st, which is tomorrow. So I barely, barely got to the point to where I could unlock Genie. And then you can replay any one of these battles. So I went ahead and did all five here. I'm just gonna go ahead, refresh. It's 100 gems. I think it's a little steep for refreshes. I think what would be better is if you start out with 50, go ahead and use 50 gems to refresh it three different times. Once you refresh it that fourth time, then I think 100 gems from then on uh, would probably be better. So I think 100 gems is a little steep, but I'm not hurting for gems right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at this battle here. So Guardian Layer 3, the characters that we need are right here highlighted exactly what we need. We're not going to do Guardian 3. That one's tougher. That one is, uh, if we go to details here, you got to be level 50. I'm uh, level 40, 41. All right, so what is required? You have to have at least Aladdin, and then you can use all other four-star characters. What's recommended is level 40 and up, and enchantment tier 4. So let's go ahead and jump into that battle, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at Genies. But this is, this is where you get your Jasmine pieces. Another bit of feedback on this event is I think for the most part, when you went through the first two battles, getting Aladdin pieces and Iago spell pieces wasn't too bad. The Jasmine ones though, the drop rates way too low. I'm hoping they adjust that next time. All right, so as per usual, you go ahead and you jump in here and you grab three characters and two spells. So I'm gonna go ahead and instead of Gaston, who is a fantastic tank, I'm going to go ahead and throw Jasmine in there, and we're going to run through it. All right. Cool little... I, I like that each each piece has its own little area to fight into. It, it almost tells a story without telling the story, right? Raj is awesome here. I'm going to pull him out. I like Car Aladdin's ability here for carpet. It slows down these guys. And I'm going to save... Let's go ahead and do some heals on Jasmine over there. Raja's already out there still, so let's go ahead and use this to do damage to both of them. Let's go ahead and slow him down again. We're going to use Iago here to steal that buff off the snake and give it to Ariel. We didn't get to choose that. He takes those buffs and gives them to a random ally. Let's go ahead. Now, it's kind of hard to go through every one of these and tell you exactly what they do, but... We're just going to burn through this. We need some... Uh... I think uh, I think Ariel's gone. So let's go ahead and just burn through this. Not bad. So there we go. I did three-star it, but I didn't three-star it this time. So that was that battle there. Not too bad. I like the uh, end, the battle cinematic at the end just with the slow-mo and stuff like that when enemies die now. So that was Jasmine's. As you see, we didn't get any. We didn't get any, but I can go ahead and auto-win the rest of it. Got two pieces there. Oh, look, now it's going to make a liar out of me. 
So we got four pieces out of out of that. All right, now, Genie. When you go into Genie, this final one, you have the different lamp chambers. You have all the way up to lamp chamber five, just like with any of the other ones, except in this one, you can't battle over. So once lamp chamber one is done, that's it. So then we go to lamp chamber two, and when you take a look at the rewards, you get 45 Genie pieces. Cool thing here is the first one gave you 35, the second one gives you 45, and it allows you to unlock Genie on the second on the second battle. However, when the characters that you need, what you need, you need Aladdin and Jasmine. Both of them have to be four star, and getting Jasmine to that four star is difficult. Uh, you gotta be in there playing every single day. I used a fair amount of uh, uh, gems in order to refresh, in order to do it. I probably spent about 3,000 gems, to be honest with you, in order to unlock her, just because the drop rate was so low. All right, so it says, defeat empowered Jafar and Genie. So we're gonna go ahead, go in there, and see if we can take him out. I haven't done this one yet. All right, so with this team, I went ahead and swapped out uh, Gaston, put Ariel in there, and then I took Iago out, just so I can get some more damage in there, because it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be quite a bit tougher. So here we go in the chamber. You can see our cars in the background over there. That was cool. All right, let's hurry up and see what we can do here. I'm gonna be looking down a lot, so don't hold it against me. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try and get rid of these snakes as quick as possible. And keep heals up as well. Look at that, I can get all three. Okay, one snake's gone. All right, let's take these guys out now. I gotta get some heals over there. Get Raja out here. She needs some help. Raja has provoke, so that really helps. Also, this ability here from her allows her to evade. Gotta get some more heals up. Not worry about healing Raja, because we can go ahead and re-summon him. Unfortunately, Ariel there, not Ariel. Jasmine, that was not good. Okay, we gotta go after, after Jafar back there. And I think we're gonna do it. There we go. Nice. We got Genie. Didn't three star, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about three starring this one because you can't redo it. But I still got the 45 pieces. Very nice. And we're going to get Genie once I do that. Look at that. He's a four star. So let's go ahead and take a look at Genie and the characters real quick in here. All right, so before we go to Genie. All right, so as you know, we can get Aladdin. Aladdin was available prior to the event. You can still farm him in his node. Just hit find and uh, auto win right there. So he's in Grand Adventure 3L, so he's easily farmable. Iago was not farmable. Jasmine, for her, she was her drop rate was really low. You can only get her from that one battle. You had to wait for that third part of the event to open up before you can farm her. And then her, her drop rate was, rate was just really low. All right, and then, uh, as you saw, Iago is the spell right here. Purges purges positive effects and then transfer them to your enemy. I mean, <laughs> to your allies. And then, uh, finally, we have the genie. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. All right, so he is the support. So you have Jasmine as the defense. <laughs> you have Aladdin as the offense. You've got Iago as a spell. And then you have this guy here as a support. So he's got... Supreme Cosmic Power! I know, he says it much better. But hey, I'm corny sometimes. All right, so fire two bolts of magic from his fingertips to an opponent, each dealing up to 14 energy damages. And as you increase that, you increase the damage. And on that bottom one, you increase chance for each magic bolt to bounce to another ally. Very nice. Whenever you can chain attacks, it's awesome. Now, with chance right here, friend like me, this adds 50% chance to grant the saved ally defense up for 10 turns. I'm not sure what saved means. Uh, increases health, restored by 10%, and then reduces re use time as you level that up. 
So saves an ally from being defeated and instantly restores 150 of their health. So there you go. The ability cannot be performed more than once every 40 seconds. So this one pulls a rabbit out of a hat and cleanses all harmful effects from a target ally or purges all helpful effects from a target enemy. That is really cool. And as you level that up, you're going to increase the, endur uh, the duration of the helpful and harmful effects and, uh, immunity. And then adds 50% chance down there on a refresh duration of purged effects. I like that. Very nice. This one here. So this one is a real firecracker. So transforms into a giant firework and fires at a target character exploding over their head. If target character is an ally, ignites into a blue burst and grants the ally tactics. Now for these types of things, you can go ahead and click on this tactics and see what that is. And then uh, if target character is an opponent, ignites in a red burst, which deals up to 35 physical damage, offense down. So that is pretty cool. And then uh, you have the passive down here. So it adds a 50% chance for duplicates to restore health to a random ally upon spawning, which is pretty cool as, a, as well. Whenever Genie receives a harmful effect, he, cre he creates a duplicate of himself. So he sounds pretty cool. I haven't seen him in action yet, but you know what? Let's go ahead and unlock him. There we go. Let's go ahead and level him up too. We're gonna level him up to max. Look at that, 58,465 to level him up to max right now. We're gonna do that because I wanna pull, put him in arena right now, in the grand arena, and check him out because grand arena, I can I can go for same power levels. You can't really do that in the regular arena. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go into here and we're gonna equip all of this so we can go ahead and get an enchantment level up. The enchantment level here helps you, uh, allows you to increase their abilities. So we're gonna upgrade two of these abilities here. There you go. Applause. That's funny. All right, and then let's go ahead and jump in here real quick. Grand Arena. I'm going to just take somebody down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and put in everybody I want here. Where's Genie? Right there. And then, so there you go. There is the whole team. 4.1. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this Meteor there. And let's go into the battle and see what we can do. See how he performs. I'm gonna take it down to, I think, a times one or the lowest it can go. Um, I think it already is. All right, so we're gonna get Raja out here so he can tank a little bit. All right, here's this ability from him. Transforms into a giant firework. Let's see what that does. Uh, let's, let's put it on Ariel. There you go. All right, what else we got? We got this one here. What is this? Pulls a rabbit out of the hat. All harmful effects from target ally or purges all helpful effects from opponent. So let's let's purge a harmful effect from area uh, from Jasmine here. Boom. Very nice. All right, it should probably play for real now, right? So, since I just unlocked him, he just became available. I don't know if he's going to be the if this is going to be the best team for arena or for which game mode. I guess we'll find out. Kind of cool getting them all out there. Let's get another firecracker going. And the cool thing about Aladdin, he does a self care, which is cool. Looks like Aladdin just got taken out. Come on, take her out. Ariel's tough, I'll tell you. Ariel is a tough one. I like her. She's one of the best characters in the game.
All right, and there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you today. Just a quick video to go over the final chapters in this event for Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Finally was able to unlock Genie. And uh, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.